Welcome to SourceFed, guys. I'm Joe Beretta. A woman who hit and killed a 17-year-old boy with her automobile is now suing the deceased teenager. I repeat, a crazy-ass, delusional, horrible woman who hit and killed a 17-year-old boy with her SUV is now suing the same deceased teenager she killed with her vehicle. Got it? Brandon Majewski and his two friends were out riding their bikes at 1.30 a.m. when Charlene Simon struck all three with her SUV. Brandon was killed, 16-year-old Richard broke a bunch of bones, including his pelvis, and 16-year-old Jake walked away without any major injuries. Now, accident or not, who cares where the fault lies? One would think that ripping away the life of a child from a family would be all the trauma one would want to inflict. <laughs> Not Charlene Simon though, she's one of those special one in a million kind of humans. One in 1.35 million to be exact, as that's what she's suing for. She's suing the two surviving teens, Brandon's family, and Brandon, the one she killed, for money. She's also suing the county for not maintaining the road, because why not, right? Go big or go home. This self-centered, compassionless, dark void masquerading as a human is claiming depression, anxiety, irritability, and post-traumatic stress. The Majewskis are claiming, uh, God, what's it called? It's, um, uh, uh, oh yeah, you killed our son. Did I mention this happened in Ontario? This lady is Canadian. You're supposed to be one of the good ones. Brandon's mom said, I'm devastated, I'm in shock. She killed my child and now she wants to profit from it. She says she's in pain. Tell her to look inside my head and she will see pain. She will see panic, she will see nightmares. Her claim accuses the boys of being incompetent cyclists, even though she was driving five miles over the speed limit. And things become a little fishy when you find out that her police officer husband was driving behind her. No breathalyzer was performed and he personally took her home from the scene. I don't even even care if I'm speculating here. F her. This lady is a mother of three. All you have to do is take a second and turn the tables and put yourself in the Majewski shoes, you nasty, revolting lady. But the shoes might be a little bit tight and you probably sue them for psychological and physical damages. <laughs> we don't know, but he wants that. The Majewskis are countersuing for $900,000 in damages and contend she may have been on the phone. Look, I don't know where the blame truly falls in this tragic situation, but what I do know is that Charlene Simon had a choice. She could have chose to allow this family to properly mourn the loss of a loved one. She could have chose to let this horrible event exist in a self-contained moment, but she didn't. She chose to turn tragedy into a scratch-off lotto ticket, and for that, you're one of the worst kind of humans. You suck, Charlene Simon. Guys, what's your opinion on this crazy, horrible, tragic situation? Let us know in the comments down below. I'm Joe Beretta, this is SourceFed.